my friends. Today we're going to be working on adding fractions. Okay, so there are a few really key points and we want to kind of keep our steps in line. Um, whenever you are adding fractions with unlike denominators, you need to convert them to like fractions, meaning they have the same denominator. For the first problem we are going to solve, we're going to notice that we have two unlike denominators, fourths and sixths. And those are not the same, so we're going to first start by converting them to like fractions. After that, we're going to add them. And then our last step is going to be to simplify if we can. OK, so I'm looking at fourths and sixths. And I'm thinking to myself, those are not the same. To figure out a denominator that will be, that they can both fit into, that they can both be converted to, I'm actually going to find the least common multiple. And so what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to list out the multiples of 4 and 6 to figure out the lowest multiple that they share. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Let's see, after that we've got 28, should have left more room, 32, and I could keep going on. Now I'm going to do for 6. 6, 12, 18, um, 20, 4, 30, 36. I could keep going on. But I already see a multiple that they have in common. The lowest, meaning the smallest multiple that they have in common, is 12. So I am going to convert both 1 fourth and 2 sixths to twelfths. I want to put them both into twelfths so that I can add them together. So to do that, what I'm going to think to myself is to get fourths into twelfths, I am increasing the number of pieces of the denominator. So I am thinking 4 times what equals 12? Well, I can see from my least common multiple chart, 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is 12. If I do that to the bottom of my fraction, I need to do it to the top. So I'm going to take 1 times 3, I'm going to get 3. 1 fourth in my problem converted to 3 twelfths. Let's do 2 six. I'm thinking to myself, 6 times what gets me 12? You can see from my chart, 1, 2. 6 times 2 equals 12, and so if I do that to the bottom, I need to do it to the top. 2 times 2 is 4. In my example here, 2 6 converted to 4 twelfths. So now I have in my, I need to rewrite my problem with my new converted fractions. So I am going to add 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths. I'm on step two, add. Okay, in this, now that I have like fractions, I can just add right across the top the numerators. 3 plus 4 is 7, and I got 7 twelfths. I'm going to pause and see if I can simplify. To simplify, it means we're going to make the denominator smaller if we can. In order to do that, we would need to be able to divide the top number and the bottom number by the same um, by a same number. So we've got, we want to divide our numerator and denominator by some numbers. So we're thinking to ourselves, hmm, I want to see if there are any factors that 7 and 12 share. This is finding the greatest common factor. And to do that, I'm going to take and make factor rainbows. You might remember that. I'm going to find factor rainbows for each number, for my numerator and my denominator. I know 1 times 7 is 7, and that's the only two numbers, when, when only two factors when multiplied that equal 7. So that's it. And I've got 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Hmm, I'm looking here, and there are no common factors except for 1, which means if we divide by 1, we'll get the same fraction. So that means that this is already simplified 
we cannot make this any simpler. 7 twelfths is as simple as it gets. Okay, we're going to do another problem, and we'll see how we do. Try and remember those steps now that we've done one problem together. We want to do for this next problem... Four six plus two eighths. The first step, remember it, convert to like fractions. So I need to find the least common multiple of my two denominators, six and eight. I'm gonna list out the multiples of six, six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, I could keep going. And let's list out the common, or the multiples of eight, eight. 16, 24, 30, oops, come on brain, oop, 32, there we go, <laughs> and 40. Okay, I could keep going, but I already see a multiple that they have in common. I'm seeing that they share the multiple of 24, which means that is the lowest multiple that they share, that the denominators 6 and 8 share, and so I'm going to use that as my denominator, my new denominator. I'm going to convert 4 6 to 24 and 2 8 to 24. Okay, to take 6 and turn them into 24, I'm going to multiply by 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 times 4 is 24, do it to the top. 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 6 converted to 16 24. Let's do 2 8. 8 times what gets us 24? 3. 8 times 3 gets us 24, 2 times 3 is 6. 2 eighths converted to 6 24 Now pause and think. We've converted them to like fractions. What's our next step? Our next step is going to be adding our new like fractions. 16 24 plus 6 24 Think to yourself. 16 plus 6. Did you get it? I got 22. Nice job. Okay, so here we have 22 24 We just did step 2, which is to add our like fractions. Hmm. Our third and final step is to simplify. In order to do that, we want to think, what are... Is there anything we can divide 22 and 24 by? To do that, we're going to do our greatest common factors. We're thinking of all the factors of 22. Hmm, I think that's it. 1 and 22, 2 and 11, finding the factors of 24. 1 and 24, 2 and 12, this one has a lot. 3 and 8, oops, I'm out of room. 4 and 6, okay. Hmm. Look at the common f or the factors and figure out which ones they have in common. You want to find the biggest, the greatest common factor. Hmm. The biggest one that they share in common is two. Remember, if you divide by one, the fraction will not change because anything divided by one is itself. So we are going to take 22 24 for our final third and final step, and we are going to simplify by dividing by 2. We want to divide both the top and the bottom. 22 divided by 2 is 11. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Our final answer is 11 twelfths. 4 plus 6, or no, excuse me, 4 6 plus 2 eighths equals 11 twelfths. Nice job, fourth grade. You got this.